Over in the city of Warren, the city fire department has issued a notice that they'll begin limiting response to nearby Conewago Township in less than 90 days. Our Tom Kowalski has the full story. When you call 911 for an ambulance, you expect someone to come. But in Conewago Township, that might not be the case soon after the city of Warren says they'll soon be limiting their response in the rural town. The staffing hasn't been met by either a volunteer department or another entity and by having a paid fire department here 24-7, it has come to us in a lot of situations. Warren Fire Chief David Krogler says it's due to an unpaid bill after the city began charging for calls in municipalities outside city limits. Because Conowango lacks adequate staffing to respond to EMS calls, he feels it leaves his department to pick up the slack. Those numbers have continued to climb over the years and to the point where the city has taken steps to mitigate that to receive just compensation for the, the standby readiness that a paid 24-7 fire department provides. Rural areas like Warren rely on what's called mutual aid, when separate municipalities rely on each other for help on fires or EMS calls in case they need it. But Krogler says due to Conowango's lack of EMS workers, the township can't always provide assistance if cities like Warren need it. It's not that we're not willing to go out and provide the mutual aid, it's just the municipalities who have the obligation to provide fire and EMS, but they don't want to pay for it. City taxpayers pay a higher tax rate than anybody else in the county to pay for the services that the city provides. One of those is in the 24-7 paid fire department. When we go outside the city, we're no longer available to provide that service in the city which the taxpayers are paying for. Conowango Township said in a letter that they believe the calls do fall under mutual aid and say the decision is, quote, detrimental to the health and safety of all involved. Tom Kowalski, Erie News Now.